love going outside to visit public art, then you already know that Polk County has no shortage of stunning, magnificent murals adorning its many buildings. Whether you're in Lakeland, Haines City, or Winter Haven, local business owners and community redevelopment agencies have made it their mission to beautify residential neighborhoods. Now Mulberry can add its name to the list. The Mulberry Murals Initiative currently has four murals in place in Spence Park and on State Road 37. I got the chance to speak with Lewis Holstein, the city program director who developed the initiative, and the three exceptionally talented artists who created murals so far. Let's take a look. Studies have shown that when art is made for the public, we, there is a sense of pride that happens. And so I really wanted to instill that in Mulberry. I love Mulberry and I, I know there's a lot of people that love Mulberry that live here. And so we wanted to try, start beautifying these parks and these places with murals and then what we see is a kind of domino effect of residents and business owners also taking pride um, in their properties. So my heart, my biggest heart is art for all that no matter what your socioeconomic background, no matter what you know, your past, where you come from, that you can have access to quality art. We put out a call to artists all over the area, the local area, via our Facebook and social media channels, and wanted to build a database of artists, which we're actually still collecting the information from artists that are interested in being a part of the murals. And then what we do is we connect them with business owners or ourselves as a city. We've um, commissioned several, uh, several pieces so we will connect them based on style and price range and so right now we're just building that directory. So under the Mulberry Murals Initiative we have four murals so far. One of them being a community mural that was done at our Harvest Festival last year. Uh, this year we're going to be adding a fifth during our Harvest Festival, another community mural. Out of those four, um, we have three artists that have completed them. Uh, the first, um, Ernest Craft, completed the one on um, Highway 37. It is the landscape. It has that Florida Highwayman feel to it. And then we have a more abstract piece, full of color, vibrancy, and life. And that is done by Sheila Burgos. Um, and that's at Spence Park. She also did the uh, community mural at Spence Park on our pool, uh, like our pool building. And uh, that is just an ode to Mulberry, uh, the literal Mulberry fruit. And then also uh, it says, we love Mulberry, uh, or I love Mulberry. The last and more, most recent is um, done by Taryn Edmondson. She's a local artist right here in Mulberry, and she did mosquito wings that you can stand in front of. We've seen the trend of angel wings or bird wings, and we felt that uh, mosquitoes are very prevalent here in Mulberry, and we as residents know that. So we wanted to highlight that and, um, and, and do that. So she, she put the mosquito wings on there, as well as a beautiful quote um, from a recent Tony Award winner that's just an inspiring piece of, um, of art. My name is Sheila Burgos. I'm originally from Puerto Rico, but I live in Winter Park since like five years ago. My style is like abstract, expressive, uh, I paint it very vibrant colors usually because I'm from the Caribbean and that's even though I try to paint more softly it's not it's not gonna happen so I started painting this one because uh, when I did the solo show one of the paintings that I had over there was a very large painting it was very colorful and abstract that's that one was the one that the kids loved the most and when I was invited to do the, I call it the abstract house, I, I was inspired by, by that piece. So I started painting it and then a couple of kids came around. They also painted and it's, it was more like a collaboration between the community and my art piece. And then I did another one that is before you entered the pool. Uh, I painted the outlines and that everybody came along and painted the complete piece. This one is called Inside My World. It's like what you can find inside my head. A mixture of emotions, energy, color, uh, all that comes from my upbringing, my cultural background and my memories. In my culture, because I come from the Caribbean, we are very we like to party, we're very happy people. So usually bright colors identifies us. I wanted to do a piece that f reflected that, uh, not necessarily in a traditional way, because uh, I love to paint in an expressive way, 
because I like to get outside the lines, uh, break their creative rules, and uh, play with my inner child, most of all. When I was painting this, a couple of persons ap approached me and they told me, oh, I wish I could paint, I wish I can be an artist. And all I can say is everybody is an artist, everybody is creative, there's no right or wrong to do art. In the beginning of times, people painted with, uh, with the soil, with the earth, you know, just get your hands dirty and, and create. There's no limitations. My name is Ernest Craft III. I'm from Lakeland, Florida. I guess my art career started when I was very young. Um, I've always loved to color. Um, my mom taught me how to color. I have to give her that credit. And, um, and painting got, came to be a source of, of income for me when I was homeless. I was uh, homeless at a point in my life where I needed extra income and I would paint for friends and family. My, my inspiration is the highwaymen, Florida artists that were basically homeless and making their way up and down the highway painting. And I, um, I was blessed to be able to come across some of their paintings. And from that point on, I was addicted. I was hooked on um, painting like those guys um, because I seen the freedom, you know, and the, um, the beauty that they had into it. Just being a native Floridian uh, is uh, my inspiration for the wall and the colors of just waking up every morning, looking at the beautiful skies, listening to the birds. Um, and and the, uh, I'm a fisherman, so I love the outdoors as far as that goes. We did a sketch first. Um, uh, we, we, we submitted uh, a couple of sketches, a couple of prototypes, and from that we scaled it from um, a piece of wood that I painted on to this huge wall. Um, I did a little sketching, but most of it is just freehanded. Art has always been a release uh, for me. Uh, anytime I'm frustrated, um, I tend to go in the garage or uh, draw or paint. It's very therapeutic. Um, I would recommend it to anyone. Um, everybody's an artist. You know, everybody has some sort of creativity within them. And I think that you should put it out, pu pull it out in those times that you really need it, you know, in those dark times of, of whatever someone might have. But art has definitely been there for me um, as a savior. Come out and, and view the mural, you know, and, and, and uh, come out and enjoy all the murals and be creative. You know, be, be creative for yourself, um, not for no one else, but just for yourself to relieve pressures and stress. Polk County is a, one of the best places in the world to live, period. Uh, and just the, the artists, the craftsmanship that is hosted here in Polk County is amazing. So uh, hopefully that, you know, the city and the, the county can bring all of us out and um, we can uh, showcase our talent. Hey, my name's Taryn Edmondson, and I've been an artist for, I don't know, ever since I can remember. I was born and raised in Hawaii, and I think just the community that I was around, and of course the beauty of it that I was around, really just made me want to like put it down onto paper or whatever I could find. Coming to Florida, we first moved to Winter Haven, and then me and my husband moved over to Lakeland and Mulberry area, and then just the community that's in Mulberry, we've like really, really loved it. I mean, we both moved over here for jobs, but it's just turned into so much more. The friends and family that I made, I'm just so, so grateful, I guess is what I could say. A lot of people talk about other cities like Portland or something being so creative, but they don't realize like the creativity that's in just like even the smallest of places. Um, and people like Lewis are really helping that, you know, putting a magnifying glass over that, and it's really great to see. So, and then to be a part of it is just like mind blowing to me because I never would have pictured myself doing any of this, you know. Lewis wanted to do the mosquito wings, mostly turning negative things into positive. So, just like the mosquito, like if you ever think that you're not enough to make an impact on something, you've never been in a dark room with a mosquito. You know, everybody's like, oh, the mosquitoes are mobile, you carry you away. It's always like a negative thing. There's a lot of research looking at just, I kind of like to go on rabbit trails of everything, but all the photos of it and just kind of piecing them all together, all the ones that I found. Because there's a lot out there. <laughs> it was pretty cool. But whenever we looked it up, you know, I was looking for like reference photos. It's amazing, like, the way that God has designed mosquito wings. I mean, like, they're mosquito wings, you know, but they're beautiful and they're so intricate. And there was a lot of detail into them that I didn't even 
notice. But I think that's the whole thing is like taking time to notice things like that, whether it's in nature or down the street, you know, taking time to see beauty and everything, I guess. I've always went with the thought that like, I wanna make beautiful things, even if nobody else cares, I wanna make them and make them for me. And then if somebody happens to love what you're doing, then so be it. But don't try to fit a mold or, I spent so much wasted time trying to be like other people or like, let me try what these people are doing. Just stay true to yourself. That sounds really cheesy, but that's what you need to do is just stay true to yourself. And that's when I think you'll really, really shine. And then as long as you surround yourself with positive people who are uplifting and encouraging you, separating you yourself from the ones who aren't, I think that's a big part of it too. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing the community mural in October at the Harvest Festival, so that'll be really exciting to do. Yeah, everybody can come be a part of that. Polk County is already really good at like supporting local businesses or local artists, and so that's just a part of it is coming and you know, whether they're interactive or not, just to come and support them by sharing it and just experiencing it up close in person, I think it's really good. For more information on future events and calls to artists, you can follow the City of Mulberry on Facebook or visit www.cityofmulberryfl.org slash city hyphen programs.